Welcome to Neo Royal House of Pricey Cardboard. My name is Brandon and I'm with Create Commander. Phil has asked me to step in and go through the gameplay for this video because he and Kelly are both a bit under the weather at this time. We wish them the fastest of recoveries. This game was not recorded over spell table so you know you can expect some French banter during the gameplay. The translations will be in the subtitles so you can turn them on to follow along. The players are not active on Twitter so we will jump directly into the deck descriptions. Hugo is playing Edric, the Spymaster. This is a Simic list, similar to Yuriko, looking to play a bunch of evasive creatures and turn them into card advantage. He runs a few extra turns, but the real win con of the deck is to turn the 1-1s one into bigger creatures to take everyone out with something like a scale-up or biomass mutation. Raph is playing his Lanus the Cryptozoologist. This is a creature-heavy deck looking to get a lot of good ETBs and profit off of Lanus's clues. The deck runs some flickers and can really pop off with cards like Academy Manufacturer and Deadeye Navigator. In a tight spot, he can always search his opponent's deck for powerful pieces. Kelly is playing her Garuda Doom of Depths deck. This list was featured multiple times on the channel before and it seeks to get Garuda into play and get non-legendary clones, hopefully chaining them one into the other to mill Kelly's opponents out and get a massive army of Demon Krakens. It is slow to start with all the costs to be paid at once, but once the train starts to roll, it can close pretty fast. For Phil, he borrowed one of Raph's decks, Lathless Dragon Queen. This is a mono red dragon tribal and combo deck looking to get a lot of dragons on the battlefield and take opponents out with combat damage or burn with something like a Scourge of Valkus. There's a couple of very powerful pieces in there like Mana Echoes and Cloudstone Curio to really get the game plan going. Hugo's opening hand contains Fairy Seer, Coiling Oracle, Sylvan Caryatid, a basic island, and three basic forests. Raph's opening hand contains Farhaven Elf, Wood Elves, Conjurer's Closet, Thought Vessel, Inspiring Statuary, Command Tower, and a basic island. Kelly's opening hand contains Counterspell, Night's Whisper, Treasure Cruise, Dig Through Time, Clearwater Pathway, Morphic Pool, and a basic swamp. Phil's opening hand contains Hellkite Tyrant, Sarkin's Triumph, Herald's Horn, Hazard's Monument, and three basic mountains. Raph gets to start this off and land drops a command tower. Phil land drops a mountain while Hugo land drops an island. He casts Fairy Seer, scrying two. Kelly land drops a morphic pool, ending turn one. Raph land drops an island and casts a thought vessel. Phil land drops a mountain while Hugo land drops a forest. He then casts Invisible Stalker. Going to combat, Fairy Seer attacks Raph. Kelly land drops a Clearwater Pathway and pass. Raph land drops an island. He casts Inspiring Statuary, a pretty good card with his commander. Phil land drops a mountain and casts Herald's Horn, naming Dragon. <laughs> Hugo land drops a forest. He casts his commander, Edric the Spy Master. She said what? No way. What after? For his combat step, he sends Invisible Stalker to Phil and Fairy Seer to Kelly, drawing two cards on damage. Kelly land drops a Myriad Landscape. She casts Sign and Blood. Raph land drops a Hinterland Harbor. He then casts his commander, Lanus, Cryptozoologist. <laughs> Raph casts Farhaven Elf and pass. Phil land drops a mountain and casts Hazard's Monument. <laughs> Hugo land drops a forest and casts Coiling Oracle. On ETB, he reveals a temporal mastery. He then casts Sylvan Caryatid and heads into combat, sending Edric to Phil, Fairy Seer to Raph, and the Invisible Stalker to Kelly, drawing three cards on damage. Kelly land drops a Darkwater Catacombs, cracking her myriad landscape for two basic islands. Quel dragon? Quel dragon? Non plus. Mon petit craquette 
用。是你背，很甜的，你跟我在玩啊？背上，你不懂吗？都上到路开始分去啊！上到路开始弄的嘚儿。然后呢，我就想，哎，三分。然后再看看你上到路三分的嘛。Bro. On his turn, Raf cast Wood Elves, getting an untapped forest and a clue. He then cast Conjurer's Closet, followed by a Shaman of Forgotten Ways. Heading into combat, he sends the Farhaven Elf to Phil and Lannis to Kelly, getting to use Hugo's Commander to draw two cards. In second main, Raf land drops an island, and at the end step, the Closet flickers the Farhaven Elf for a basic and a clue. Phil land drops a mountain and casts his first dragon, Hellkite Tyrant. The monument lets him discard to draw. On his turn, Yugo casts Temporal Mastery, but Raf reacts with a Swan Song. Yugo then goes to combat, sending three damage to Kelly and two to Raf, drawing four cards. Kelly land drops a Mystic Sanctuary before casting Sakashima the Imposter. <laughs> Raf casts a Junk Winder. Ah, Sibai, the trigger. Twin. <laughs> He follows it up with a shamanic revelation. He then casts Trophy Mage, tutoring for Academy Manufacturer and tapping down the Hell Kite. He casts the Manufacturer, getting a clue, a food, and a treasure on ETB. Freezing Yugo's creature, and not quite done, he casts Shimmer Dragon and land drops a forest. He then heads into combat, sending the Far Haven Elf to Yugo and Wood Elves to Phil, drawing one card. At the end step, the Closet flickers Wood Elves. Phil land drops a mountain and casts Terror of the Peaks. After that, he casts Opportunistic Dragon and on ETB confiscates the Conjurer's Closet. Then he targets the Manufacturer for four damage. Reacting to the Terror of the Peaks trigger, Raf activates Lana's, sacrificing eight clues and targeting Kelly. He gets her Massacre Worm. Yugo takes ten, losing pretty much everything. And on his turn, he rebuilds, casting River Sneak, Miss Cloak Herald, followed by a Slither Blade. It's good that my sacred warrant is. Yeah, I just tried it. Because my sacred warrant is. No. No. Shit. You're going to die. We're going to take four minutes. Kelly casts Phantasmal Image, entering as a second Massacre Worm. Yugo loses 12 and Raf loses 8. She then passes. Raf recasts his commander. <laughs> Raf casts Blue Sun Zenith where X equals 5. He draws an additional card with Shimmer Dragon. Going to combat, Massacre Worm attacks Yugo. Before going to end step, Kelly casts a Fairy's Time Twist, flickering her Sakashima into a Terror of the Peaks at the end step. Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Why did you cast a Terror of the Peaks? Phil land drops a mountain and finally casts his commander, Laughless Dragon Queen. <laughs> On cast, he rummages, discarding Panharmonicon, and on ETB, he deals six damage to the Junkwinder. For his combat step, he sends Opportunistic Dragon to Yugo, while the Hellkite Tyrant goes to Raf. He blocks with Shimmer Dragon, but before damage, Phil activates Laughless for one more damage. On damage, Phil steals Raf's artifacts. <laughs> <laughs> Yugo casts Thieving Skydiver, kicking it to steal Raf's thought vessel, which is under Phil's control. He then passes. Kelly casts Spark Double, entering as a Lathless. She deals six to Phil's terror on EDB. She then pays three to put her companion to hand and passes. <laughs> <laughs> Raf land drops a forest. <laughs> He casts Dead Eye Navigator and flickers the Massacre Worm four times, getting clues and wiping the boards. 
On Phil's turn, using the statuary, he recasts his commander, rummaging on cast. He then casts Fervor, followed by Udvara Hellkite. On ETB, Lathless creates a 5-5 dragon. Heading into combat, Lathless, Udvara Hellkite, and the token attack Raph. On attack, Phil gets three more 6-6 dragons. Before blockers, Raph activates Lanus, targeting Phil. He gets Rapacious Dragon, getting two treasures on ETB, using them to flicker Massacre Worm. <laughs> Raph takes 11 and now threatens to find a final piece to his combo machine next turn. Kelly casts Treasure Cruise. She then saves the day with Feed the Swarm on Deadeye Navigator. After that, she casts Gigantoplasm, entering as another Lathless. Raph land drops an island. He casts Karuga, the Macro Sage, drawing cards on ETB. He casts Thunderfoot Bailoth, followed by a Reclamation Sage, which destroys Phil's fervor. He heads into combat, sending Masker Worm to Phil. At the end step, the closet flickers Karuga for eight more cards. On Phil's turn, he casts Territorial Hellkite, followed by Crucible of Fire. He then goes to combat, sending the Territorial and two 6-6 tokens to Kelly, while Lathless, Udvara, a 6-6, and a 5-5 go to Raph. Raph activates Lanus for four and gets Phil's Leyline Tyrant, but even with two blockers, both players are taken out. Well played. Again, my name is Brandon with Create Commander. We wish everyone at Neo Royal, House of Pricey Cardboard, a speedy recovery. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We will see you very soon.